sure you can hear Alakai panting, and if you can't, well, whatever. But anyway, I have him next to me. He's being clingy. It's probably because my mom's not home. But come here. Come here. There he is. <laughs> is over here so it's gonna sound better over here than it will here. start doing the role plays. So, mm, that was loud. I mean, as you can see, I'm a natural redhead, so it's easy to cosplay as seven, and I feel like Pidge's hair color is similar to mine. Hers is like a, a caramel, but, you know, <laughs> gotta work with what I have, and I, I can't afford to just be going and buying wigs. I bought one years ago on Amazon for like Katie, her side, like Katie's side. And it was just, oh, it was so ugly. It was like a greenish yellow and it was really long and it looked better in the pictures. And just... I bought a wig that looked more like her hair, but it was flat, so I would have had to style it. And I don't know how to style it. So it's like, Let's just go with what I have because my curls will look like her hair. So whatever. <laughs> By the way, if you noticed, the lighting is a lot better. Um, I got a ring light at Dollarama. And it's really cool actually. The controller is on the I have it on the brightest setting, just so you can prop 
properly see my face and I also I did mention this in a comment to someone else on my mic brushing video the one with the blue lighting that I was gonna have my light doing stuff like this so better get used to that because I want like better So I need to make ASMR with them before they start chipping and anyway. You're baptized. Okay. That was actually hard to open for some reason. So now we're gonna open up this. prescription glasses, but ever since I was a child, my doctor is like, you're fine, you have 20-20 vision, you don't need glasses. Except my vision has gotten worse since I was a child, and like, I have a hard time seeing fine details, so I'm like training myself to get used to glasses. But I have priorities, like right now, um, because of my depression, my top, well, all my teeth are neglected, but my top ones are so all of those are getting pulled. I don't know when, sometime within the next few months, most likely, because of the state they're in. Like, they're, it's considered an emergency, like the wait list was up to a year or more. But, um, my back wisdom teeth are getting pulled. My front six, they said I was gonna keep regardless. The rest was up to me. 
I'm keeping the rest just because I don't want to have to get two sets of tenders. I just want one on the top. That's it. <laughs> anyway, so once that's all done, um, I likely won't be recording ASMR for a little bit just because I need time to recover and get used to talking without teeth. So, I mean, I could still record just without talking, like no talking videos. But, um, I feel like my teeth are a priority over my eyes right now because I can still see enough. Like, my vision isn't obscured or anything, it's just, it's a little bit blurry. Um, so like, if I, I used to play Fortnite, I don't anymore because I just don't have the motivation for it. It's not like I, oh, I'm too cool for it or anything, just, I don't have the motivation for it. And it's very repetitive, so. But anyway, I used to play it on my Switch, like my Switch Lite, and it was too small for me. I had to like hold it here just to see what I'm doing. And um, it's just a nuisance, so it would be nice to have glasses, except I'm now realizing how much of a pain in the ass it is to have glasses, especially with this one. Or he purposely goes for the glasses when he licks me. a child. Now because my eyelashes are naturally like reddish blondish, um, I have an easier time wearing colorful mascara. Now I don't think that I've done the purple yet, but I really like how the blue looks on me. Okay, so I did it off camera and I feel like the purple's not super noticeable. 
You tell me, I can't see it. Um, but, um, yeah. Okay, it goes this way.
by the way let me know if you guys want lo-fi in the background of some of my videos because I know um, I personally which was the dead giveaway to paint my nails because that's always part of the fetish and to snap aggressively towards the camera like plucking but snapping and I'm like mm -mm. they said it helped them sleep with their ADHD and whatever and I was like no, no, you're disguising that you're disguising a fetish as helping with your insomnia don't do that, y'all if you follow people that you know are okay with taking fetish requests go for it but don't don't go and do that to unsuspecting people because it's actually really gross Stop it. 
speaking about Palestine. And Lizzo was feeling the pressure of the heat, and she started talking about it. And halfway through the video, she made it about her, and how, oh, I've been suffering with depression, and blah, blah, blah. I stopped watching. You cannot talk about Palestine and make it about you. You want to use your platform to help Palestine? That's freaking great. But it should not take being pressured to talk about it, and it should not. When you start blocking them, what's going to happen is that you're going to start getting ads relevant to these people's pages. So I'm going to explain how this works. Um, the part of the reason we're doing the block out is, I mean, the main reason is to punish them, right? They have not been speaking about this genocide that's been happening well beyond since October. Like, it's been happening and it's only just gotten worse in October. But anyway, what this does is it punishes them and fucks up their ad revenue. Because, uh, I saw a video and it was explained this way. to show you stuff but he can't so he's losing money and what also happens is because so many people are blocking all these celebrities it's showing to completely different groups of people which means it becomes more expensive to advertise because now it's just branching out to everybody which means it's not reaching their target audience which is great now what's going to happen when you start blocking them is you're going to get all kinds of weird ads that you are not getting before so like about Travis Kelsey again, I've been getting ads for like Monopoly Go and Gatorade and just different energy drinks and gambling and football, all kinds of stuff. And that's good because that gives me more pages to block and it also reaches the wrong audience, which means they're losing money, right? Now, another way to help 
is to go to their business sites, fill up the cart with a bunch of shit, go up to checkout right before you enter your cart, and abandon your cart. That also fucks with their ad revenue. This is, <laughs> and this is just like the bare minimum. Like, if you can't afford to donate, or, you know, just, this will help. Celebrities are already feeling the pressure and talking out about it like Lizzo, but she <laughs> did not go about it the right way. So, and it's like, girl, I don't know why you're talking up about it now because nobody's going to hear it. We're all blocking you. But, anyway, I'm especially disappointed with Zendaya because, and Emma Watson, like, this is, their followers are activists, right? Like, this is this on brand for them, the kind of stuff they typically talk about, and they're not talking about it. It's like, and the problem with these people is they're scared to lose um, their ad partners. Like, are you scared HelloFresh won't want to monetize you anymore? Because if you're worried about HelloFresh, there are other companies that will want to help you out. But like, anyway my little rant about that. I just, I, I've been blowing up my personal Instagram with posts about Palestine and just ways to help screw up these celebrities' ad revenue. And I figured I would pass it on. I don't want to be complicit. That's a dog bone, by the way. Somebody's playing with a bone. But, I've been sitting here and I'm like, I haven't said anything about Palestine, so I'm no better than them. I'm talking about it now because I, I have no excuse. And it's actually been really fun blocking them and then like laughing about what the kind of ads that I'm getting. Like I said, I've been getting like, I'm sorry, I have hair in my not like dog hair, but uh, gambling. And I keep getting this really stupid looking one where guy looks like a bobblehead. Like, it's just really weird editing. It's a real person, but they've made his head bigger. It's just... <sighs> but yeah, when you get those kinds of ads, block them too. Because then you're gonna start getting really, really weird ads. And people have said that when after blocking Taylor Swift, they get third-party ads with her in them. So like, um, editing apps or just you know, different kinds of ads with her in it, and it's like, <laughs> but yeah, if you want to help Palestine, this is how to do it. If you, you know, can't afford to be donating to families, the pressure is on. Like, if we want change, we have to have celebrities talking about it because they have millions and millions and millions and, mi sorry, billions and billions and billions, Donald Trump, <laughs> of followers combined and none of them are saying anything. Nellie London is somebody that I liked following, but she hasn't said anything about Palestine at all, so I blocked her. Um, Taha Liksu, he's safe. He's been posting about Palestine. Thank God. I wish he would post about it to his page directly, but he has a story highlight and he different families and links and all that stuff. So at least he's using his platform to talk about it, but there are too many people that aren't saying anything. So I am going to start recruiting watermelon themed things because those are the colors of the Palestine flag. I'm going to make a whole video with just watermelon stuff. Um, Now, the reason for the watermelon um, is because at some point in time, it was illegal to talk about Palestine and what was happening. So people would use the watermelon to talk about it in like a code. So that's why the watermelon represents Palestine right now. And yeah, so Pretty much what I do. I'm, I'm blocking celebrities for fun right now. And, um, yeah. 
I didn't expect to talk about it in this video specifically, but I did want to talk about it, and, um, actually there's, stop, an Instagram page that's following all the celebrities that you need to block to make it easier for you. So, their feeds are nothing but celebrities, and, um, like, just product after product, and Met Gala picture after Met Gala picture, and it's disgusting, like, uh, when you start following, like, when your feed is nothing but top, like, Palestine, it's, it's literally feels like you're living in the Hunger Games, like, the Met Gala, Outfits like Zendaya's outfit looked like it belonged in the Hunger Games. Um, I don't remember who it was that had a purse made of ice with a rose gold carrot. Like, like there was a rose in it made of gold, and like it's disgusting. It's just very dystopian and like. People are being killed while celebrities are playing dress up and spending $75,000 on tickets when that could be going to Palestine or like individual families and there was a huge truck of food supplies that was sent to Gaza and I saw a video of people just taking the crates and smashing them. Like, now, I don't have a huge following anywhere. I have the most followers here on YouTube. With, like, what, 220? I don't know. But, I want to say that, like, supporting Palestine is also not an excuse to be anti-Semitic. Just because someone's Jewish does not mean that they're a Zionist or that they stand with Israel and what they're doing. There are plenty of Jewish people that stand with Palestine, like Matt XIV on Instagram. Um, I personally hope that he partakes in the celebrity blogging because he's following people like Britney Spears, Taylor Swift. Um, Kristen Chenoweth is another one I had to block. Um, and they're all complicit. Laverne Cox is another one I forgot to block, actually. I haven't done any of the blocking on my ASMR account, but I will because it's fun messing with their ad revenue. Give me just a second. Page I wanted to tell you. Chop period out 2024. And they're taking celebrity name requests. Like I've been sending them a bunch. So Nelly London, Justin Trudeau. Selena Spooky Boo, Ayla Jalen, which was really upsetting for me because I like her content, but she hasn't said anything about Palestine either. Rebby Sky, so Gothic Baby's mom, but she's also friends with the turf, Lauren the Mortician. Okay. There are periods between each. 
prevention and the freedom of the people who have been genocided all over the world, specifically Palestine, Sudan, and the Congo. As someone who has worked closely with activists, um, I know the toll it can take on your mental and your physical, and it can feel thankless. So if you have not heard today, thank you. Your work is not in vain. You have helped so many people. You have saved literal lives. And on a personal note, you have activated me. I was in a deep, dark depression. I... That's not what activated her. What activated her was the fact that she's getting mass blocked. And that her comments are blown up with free Palestine and why are you being complicit? And then she dives right into, I have been depressed. Okay? That's not an excuse. The least you can do is make a post about hashtag free Palestine on your page and that would be enough to get a slight amount of change, like, or like, post to your story, follow people living in Palestine, just like, reshare to your story. I don't Over the last nine months, that's how long it's been since the genocide has started. My mental health has been shit for over a decade. Uh, I'm not using that as an excuse to not talk out about it. I am sorry. The loss I experienced in my personal life and the state of the world, I have been rendered into an emotional state where I cannot process or handle anything. It was very dark. Not saying this to make excuses nor do I want sympathy. I just haven't been able to be transparent with y'all in a long time. And this has been weighing on my heart to share with y'all. The people in my life who love and care about me, they helped me get out of this dark space. Um, and I appreciate them. Um, kind words. This is what I mean when she said she made the video about her. We're not even halfway through and she's talking about I appreciate everybody who's helped me and this is not about you. People on the internet, um, they really motivated me. But also the activism that I've been seeing has been extremely motivating. Y'all have really motivated me to get my ass up and get back to who I am. I also want to take this moment and thank all of the anti genocide was activating her is the loss of money. Anti-war protests that have been happening at college campuses all across this country. What these students have done and are doing is so deeply important. I can't even express it in one video. I am also extremely indebted to Operation Olive Branch and all the people running that organization. Thank you because your platform gives us an opportunity to directly help people, help families, and possibly save a life. And thank you to the people who were genuinely concerned about me. Um, you saw my face, but nobody was home. I was not present at all. Not and, an excuse. Um, I've been gone. I, I don't like how that out. feels. Okay, that was a little life update. I've been wanting to um, do that for a long time. I have been reaching out to activists, seeing how I can help, and stay tuned for more information on how you can help these ongoing genocides in the world, because we ain't free to be all free. This video is long overdue. That video could have been cut in half if you took out all the parts where she made it about herself. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't give a shit that she's been struggling mentally, because I have been struggling mentally for over a decade, like I said. But there's a time and a place to talk about it, and this video is not the time or the place. And it just feels like a, an attempt to have people go easier on her because she hasn't been talking about Palestine. And like, I haven't been here mentally, you've seen my face, but nobody's home. If you're dissociating, that's fine. But like I said, all it takes is a share to your story. Nobody's asking you.
gonna make several posts like this family needs help this family needs help this family there are pages that already do that for you there are instagram pages that have adopted specific families in palestine with their gofundmes in their bio and their job is to collect funds for them nobody's asking her to do all that work we're just asking her to talk about it we're asking all these celebrities to just talk about it and they haven't been and that's the issue so i don't know maybe like even jack black isn't safe y'all robert downey jr had to get blocked and about Palestine. I have spent several months just sharing to my story and I feel like it's not enough anymore. this video is going to be a lot longer than I expected it to be, but if I'm going to be talking to y'all and helping you figure out how to help Palestine without donating, that's how. Um, I'm going to put the link to chop out their page in the description and also pin it in the comments if I can remember to. If not, can somebody copy and paste the link from the description of this video and put it in the comments and I will pin it because my memory is awful and I want people to have the option to go and block all these celebrities. There's a lot. And one way to make it easier is to pick a celebrity, go through their following, block all of them. Now, I really struggled when I first started blocking people. I was like, I have to block them? You too? Like, and then I sat there and thought about it and I was like, I don't know these people. I don't know them personally. I don't know what they're really like. So why does it matter? And it made blocking them a lot easier. Like, Taylor Swift has... Like I said, I don't have a huge following, but I still want to use my platform to talk about it and educate, so... Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to start posting to my stories um, the same stuff that I'm posting to my personal page. accounts that is following all the celebrities actually got deleted. Um, they think it, that the word block is um, getting picked up by AI now, like the AI moderation. So we're 
using chop instead or chopping them. Um, and, um, oops, don't want that to. But yeah. Like, we're. It's, it's well <laughs> past the time that they need to be talking up because it's just been too long, you know? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I expected it to just be like, I don't know, chit chat and ASMR trick. I wanted to talk about Palestine, so at least I got to. Um, I'll see you in my next video.